when we discuss that women are having so many problems so many issues they are facing the unsafe situations in the urban areas and in the rural areas to find out a solution for this one in india we need them to be getting some political representatives so women political representation so the women's political representation is highly important or required to address the issues which are to get solved for the women's safety and security and also to live happily so as we discussed earlier the movements which are to be initiated to have a proper equality of people in the society needs to be getting their replies or to get their equal rights only by certain movements that movements are known as the feminist movements if you take the example of french revolution the french revolution happened in the year 1789 where it had given the birth of the terms like liberty equality and fraternity when these words are brought up in the french revolution in their 1789 that liberty equality and fraternity they all thought that this would bring up the equality of men and women also they actually thought that it will bring the real equality into the scenario but women were not given equal right to vote along with men till 1948 so without any movement without fighting for justice you don't get equality the issues will not get addressed that is a main key point what we need to understand here now when the french revolution was happening men and women fought together to get the equality status of liberty equality and fraternity so when we happen this kind of things we usually consider that they would be given there would be given equal representation for all of them like the men same as well as for the women also but when the actual thing happened they only recognized men to have their voting rights and the equality status was given only for men and not for women women are made as passive citizens whereas men as active citizens yes there are some more divisions but still women are not given any kind of political rights at all now moving on to our topic when we talk about the women's political representation let us take in our country in india we have the number of representation in the lok sabha the percentage of representation in the lok sabha is less than 10% the number of women representatives in lok sabha are less than 10% this scenario when it comes to states it is really horrible they are having only 5% in lok sabha it is 10% in the state assemblies it is 5% or less than that so when the scenes are going like this and the scenario is going like this it shows clearly that there is a very few representation of the women population to talk about the issues of women to solve the issues of the women so when there is no certain proper representation here that will ultimately lead to the male domination society and we also have to understand one more thing here is even the prime minister is woman or chief minister of a state is woman almost all the cabinet ministers will be of male members even when indira gandhi was a prime minister we had more number of people more than 2/3 of the cabinet members being the male ministers when you take an example of vasundhara rajay in rajasthan also we have more than 2/3 into the male members into the cabinet so this clearly reveals for us that 
द पर्सेंटेज ऑफ वुमेन रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन द लोकसभा और इन द स्टेट असेंबलीज इवन दो वुमेन आर इलेक्टेड टू ए वेरी हाई पोजिशन इन द स्टेट असेंबलीज और इन टू द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट दट इज इन द सी एम पोस्ट इन द रेस्पेक्टिव स्टेट और इन द प्राइम मिनिस्टरियल पोस्ट इन द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो द नंबर ऑफ वुमेन इन द इलेक्शन पैनल और इलेक्टेड मेंबर्स इन टू द कैबिनेट आर वेरी वेरी लेस दिस इज क्लियरली एविडेंट फॉर अस इज द सेम थिंग हैपनिंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड नो इन सम कंट्रीज ऑफ अफ्रीका सम कंट्रीज ऑफ लैटिन अमेरिका we have more than 16 percentage of the people's representation coming from the women community india falls under the category of very less percentage of representatives of women are being given into the public life in that category so here we need to have a clear understanding that there is a clear cut need for us to indulge or to make them involved in the public life by giving certain kind of reservation for them yeah when it comes to reservation we need to understand very clearly we have a women reservation bill the women reservation bill is a bill which is made in order to get women representation equally in all the houses of parliament state assemblies local bodies panchayat bodies gram level at all levels it is mandatory if this bill becomes an act to get one third of seats means one third of the seats which can also be written as 33 percentage of seats in any house so it is one third means 33 percentage of seats are mandatory for everyone to have the women representatives either in lok sabha rajya sabha state assembly state legislative assembly state vidhan sabha panchayati raj bodies municipal bodies jilla parishad bodies any body you take which is a constitutional framework body which has elections will become mandatory for them to have 33 percentage of men uh, women as a representative selected from that particular region but in actual frames the bill was really very good but from the past decade this bill has not got the approval of the parliament i think you all are aware of that parliament means we have the two houses one is lok sabha while the other one is rajya sabha so lok sabha rajya sabha this bill did not get first of all passed in the lok sabha only from the past decade means for the past 10 years but in actual terms from the past 60 years the women bill has not been cleared in the parliament why what is the reason for this why the bill is not getting passed over the hurdles in lok sabha or in rajya sabha to get into the parliament to get the approval and finally to get into drafted into an act what is binding them not to get into this one one more answer clear answer for this is the male dominated society where this bill have to be approved by more than 2/3 of the male members in the lok sabha and in the rajya sabha then only it can get into the form of an act and then converts all the female members into the people's representatives this bill is really very sad to tell that this bill has been not cleared from the past 6 decades but in actual reality from past decade it has been continuously failing even though after repeatedly it has been kept modified and recapped in the lok sabha maybe because of the sessions are getting failed or the terms of the governments are ending but the women bill is not being cleared till yet this kind of breakage or this kind of blockage for the development of women is clearly revealing for us the fact that still we are in a unequal society still there is a lot to be done to get equality in the society in the true nature we need many efforts we need many movements to get equal status for women in all sectors all wings so this kind of initiative has to be taken many feminist movements have to be initiated to get the equal respect for women then only we can have a healthy and a prosperous society which would make the states to be healthy which will ultimately make the nation to be happy and healthy so this is required for us to have the feeling of equality not only the feeling of equality which has to be truly practiced by having 
certain number of representatives certain kind of specific laws certain kind of things which are arresting any kind of difficulties which the women are facing we have already discussed that women or girls when they are young they face the discrimination at home they are not educated well as that of boys they are trained to do the household works not to get for their equal education once the girls are passing their primary sections they are not allowed to go to the higher sections very few percentage of people go to the higher education once they move on to the higher education they are getting very few chances to move out from their place to study at various other places even though they pass on all these tests and get qualified and get a new job again they are finding difficulties in doing jobs they are getting troubles as a people of employers and they are also facing many troubles in the village and in the urban areas on the streets domestic violence physical violence all these things sexual abuse all these things are creating lot of problems and clearly reveals that there is an inequality in the society and when we talk about the people's representatives the people's representatives population when we compare to the other countries in latin america and in africa where they are having more than 16% of them people's representatives are women where in india we have less than 8% or less than 5% of people in certain assemblies and in some places we don't even find women representative at all in the assembly this kind of panic situations are really bothering us and it's an alarming situation for us to react very fast even in the entire local setup from the panchayat level to the parliament level if you take all together also we don't have crossing the population of 10 lakh women representatives in various wings so really it is a very important thing which needs to get the gender equality then only our country can be prosperous if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus